Black Panther finally arrived in Maiden Mike's world. Tell you all about it and why he is so late to the dance. Cause you know Maiden Mike, Maiden Mike is always first crack, but not on this one. But I have a legitimate excuse and I got great questions for you guys. my fantastic brothers and sisters welcome back again into maiden mike's world guys i'm sorry to be launching another video at you but i've been on vacation so i'm ready to shoot them out while i have the time to okay a lot of things going on up here so now i can release it to you guys being that i got a little bit of time off all right guys this will be the last video though, I promise you, before the new year. So you guys get home safe to your families, uh, have a good new year, and I'll see you all in the new year. But before I let you go, we got some, we got some things to discuss here. And it's not about the old ass statue that I have on display over here. It's about the topics that come with this character in the movie that I've been wanting to discuss for a very long time. But unfortunately, a lot of my close circle friends don't really give a shit about what I got going on in here. <laughs> but you guys out there, my family, you guys do. You guys have an understanding how we feel about this stuff. Okay, now that leads me to this statue, which is about a year late. Uh, you guys knew that I wanted this for a long time. I was gonna get it. I just had you close followers know that I had such an issue putting my Marvel room together. I stopped getting Marvel until I can figure it out. So I wind up pushing out the Star Wars guys and the horror guys to make more space for Marvel. So I didn't want to take him on when he was being released because I didn't want to add more stress to my collection. All right. If that's what we call stress. Uh, so I waited and finally I've cleared up the issues and he has finally arrived and he is fantastic. And I love what Sideshow did with him. He will be displayed like that because this is a respect piece. Uh, so I will have him maskless in my case for respect. We lost a fantastic young actor due to the, the beast of cancer, which is to me the worst form of disease on this planet. We have a lot of them, but it seems to get us. All right, guys. Now let's dive into it. I'm going to hit you up with some questions. I'm crossing some barriers. Um, I'm stepping out of the box, but it's something that has to be done. That I have to do. Because it's been up here for a long time. Okay. Is this the best Marvel movie of all time? Depends on who you ask right? Some people say it is. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself 
But so this is arguably it. There's a lot of other great ones, but this is to be mentioned to it. I think it's the 10th biggest grossing movie of all time. I'm not sure I could be wrong on that. So could be wrong. So that leads me to another question. Is this the most important movie Marvel has ever done? And did this break the color barrier of the Marvel superhero movie? And one other question. Was it as liked by the white audience as to the black audience? These are some questions that have always wandered in my head. Now, guys, I have no, not a racial uh, ounce in my body. I've had five black girlfriends in my life, and one of them is still a very close friend of mine. I went to school in the South Bronx, so I got soul. <laughs> but guys, these are questions that some people are scared to ask. Not Made Mike. Made Mike likes to ask questions. So let's break it down. Is it the best movie? I don't know. Okay, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Is it the most important Marvel movie of all time? I can answer that. I believe yes. Because it did bring a whole different culture into the comic book world. The movie world of superheroes. Because realistically, I'm going to give you an example. When I went to go see Black Panther, I, a couple of months out, I ordered my tickets into this nice little theater in Pasadena that has about 12 or 14 recliners. You got your own waiter. They give you a five-star restaurant there. And it's it was pretty damn expensive at the time. I mean, I don't even think it's there since COVID. Uh, since COVID hit, I think it just shut the doors. Uh, but fantastic theater. And it wasn't rare for you to come out of there spending, you know, 50, I think it was 50 bucks per seat. So not rare for a $200, you know, night to go there. And I wanted to see that movie there. Okay. I did observe in the audience that out of the 14, I believe, people who were there, half of them were black. Great. Now, when I've gone there for other Marvel movies, no, wasn't there. So, is this the most important movie? I believe so. Now, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Now, was it as likable for the white audience as opposed to the black audience? These are questions, guys. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean... I, I noticed a lot of black people were going to see this movie, which was great. Absolutely. Hey, I love the idea that all the cultures, this movie basically brought all the cultures into Marvel. So, in closing, guys, you tell me what you think. I wanted to keep this short, and I wanted to get straight to the point. Did this break a color barrier? 
into the Marvel world. Uh, was it the best Marvel movie at all? Was it accepted in the white audience as well as the black audience? And, you know, is it the most important? I'm waiting, guys. Uh, I may be busy a little bit tonight, so be patient when I get back to your responses, all right? Brothers and sisters, you know I love y'all. There's not an ounce of racism in Maiden Mike's world. I love everybody. Everybody in every culture, man. I am Mr. International. Okay, guys, be safe. Okay, guys, this is the way he will be displayed in Maiden Mike's world. They did a fantastic job on him. Like I said, this is a respect piece. Uh, costume looks great. Everything looks great about this. Uh, all right, let's look him over in the back. You guys have all seen this already. Except for me. I didn't watch anybody else's review on this. All right, let's take a look at the base. Base looks great. He's gonna look really good up high. That cat looking down. My favorite part is the way his hands are posed. I love it. All right, guys, that's all I'm showing you. Enjoy.